I am Specialist Stephanie Grewell, and this is my story. I joined the Army October 7, 2004. My job was a line medic. I did route clearance, I did combat logistics patrols, participated in PSD, and I worked at the aid station. We woke up that morning at 6, started prepping for missions. The weather was really nice. It wasn't too cool, it wasn't too hot. It was just nice weather. It was a day after Thanksgiving, so we were all in pretty good spirits because we had Thanksgiving off. We were allowed to do, as far as combat missions, we did civil affairs that day, but we had no combat missions that day. So it was really nice. Everybody was feeling good from the civil affairs mission. So we SP'd from the gate, and we were riding down the road, and it was the same road that we had traveled for two months now. So everybody was pretty familiar with it. We had never had problems when we were getting ready to have problems at. So as we're driving down the road, I would call things out to the gunner because he was facing backwards in the rear truck. And so I told him that a marketplace was coming up and that it looked really crowded. It was a marketplace and there was an IP station across the street from the marketplace. Three individuals stepped off from the marketplace out to the curb with large glass bottles, is what it looked like, huge 40 ounce bottles, and threw them. And that's when everything happened. It, they detonated. They weren't just beer bottles, they were bombs. They were Russian anti-tank grenades, is what they had thrown at us. One hit the engine, one came through um, the TC side of the window, and one came through the gunner's hatch. Once they went off, everything kind of went black for a second, and then there was a great big orange light in the front of the vehicle because it was on fire. And then I felt burning in my face, in my arms, and my legs, and I knew that I was alive because I felt burning. We couldn't get a hold of anybody on the radio, so I got out. And once I got out, they started shooting at us. I got out, I pulled the driver out, and put him into safety because with the door open, it's up armored. They could have safety on the other side. Once we got back into our battle rhythm and there was other stuff going on, different IEDs, different instances where they needed medics, you know, you stop focusing on all of it and you just start getting into your battle rhythm. And so it becomes easier as well as, you know, you see the people at the hospital that you would try to help take care of. We did civil affairs, we got to play with children, we were always giving candy out or school supplies. And so sometimes the bad stuff would eventually just kind of go to the back of your mind. You knew it happened, you knew you wanted to be cautious, but there was other things that were more important. And it was getting out there, making sure that our guys had the supplies that they needed, as well as trying to help Iraq stand on its feet. And that's what a mission is here. I am Specialist Stephanie Grewell, and this is my story.